contest is for the vacant GTFP Welterweight Championships. Please welcome one more time, fighting out of the blue corner. Representing Wolves MMA, an undefeated MMA fighter with three wins and no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Mikey Tarata! And his opponent in the red corner. Representing Rough House MMA. He's got an amateur MMA record of four wins and only two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Radcliffe. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This for the vacant amateur welterweight title. Chris Radcliffe, four and two, but on a four-fight win streak. All four wins by way of stoppage, taking on the three and zero oh, Mikey Tranter from Wolves MMA in the RDX shorts. Three and zero. Oh, all his wins come by way of stoppage. I'd be surprised if this goes the full 15. Yeah, you and me both. I mean, I this is the uh, this is the fight that stood out to me on this card. I'm really excited for this one. Mikey Tranter, as you say, 3-0. But it's hard to believe that this kid is only 18 years old oh, still. It's unreal. He fights way above his age. I mean, really good fight IQ. He's like a uh, just a stone faced killer in there when uh, when we see him. In oh, action. but has he got? Has he given up the no? Thought for a moment he was fighting off that guillotine. But he looks, looks like, like it's a little bit tired here. And he's Radcliffe to sweep using it, over. it to sweep. What a beautiful roll by Chris Radcliffe there. Now taking taking a bit of time, calming down. Great use of the <laughs> butterfly. Oh my God, yeah. 18 years old, fighting well above his years. Absolutely beautiful work there. Just a, an all-round brilliant piece of mixed martial arts. Chris Radcliffe using the neck there, the guillotine choke to sweep and, and get into top position and then Mikey Trancer using the uh, using the sweep himself to get out of that position Radcliffe just trying to post up with that hand he's well aware that if he doesn't get his back to the cage the Trancers is going to pull him out and try and rip him down to the mat oh beautiful throw but neither guy willing to willing to give up the position good work by Trancher though Locks himself down in that half guard. I remember I was like 18. It's, <laughs> it certainly wasn't like this, Steve. <laughs> That's frightening. Staying heavy on top. Making life uncomfortable for Radcliffe on the bottom. Yeah, Mikey said ahead of this fight, he's got no specific game plan, but... Trying to work that Americana for a moment. He likes to finish fights, and he, he will be looking for the uh, for the finish, he said, so... He absolutely does. So expect him, whenever he gets in a dominant position, to to look to finish this. See if Radcliffe's going to look to hunt submissions or look to improve position to stand up. Really heavy yeah. on top there is Mikey. He's doing a really good job of nullifying any kind of submission or... Sweep threat there from Radcliffe, as you can see, he's thrown at the arms, looking for perhaps a triangle, Real an arm bar, but Mikey just sees it coming, moves the legs out of the, the way. Side. side control now. No prizes for guessing what I'd like to see, but <laughs> perhaps Radcliffe, wise to that, keeps moving. Just a very good, heavy top position from Mikey Tranter. Yeah, I was going to say that heavy right shoulder just into the chin and the jaw of, uh, of Chris Radcliffe really uncomfortable and just helps him to maintain that position just chips away with a couple of shots there and then looked like he could have been setting up for the head and arm triangle as well good round from the Wolves MMA man 18 years old it, I still I still can't can't quite comprehend it myself to be honest so well rounded as well for such a young kid Gross but that's that's amateur mixed martial arts though in this day and age, isn't it? Beard than I do as well. It's not, <laughs> just not. Yeah, fair. you and me both. It's disgusting. <laughs> but that was a very very good round from the Wolves MMA prospect there. Nullified Radcliffe got top position, worked. Radcliffe couldn't find his way back to the feet in round one. Yeah, be in the back of his mind now going into these uh, into the second round and any subsequent rounds. Just the, the top control that Mikey had in that first round and he desperately won't want to find himself in that position again. So be interested to see how he uh, how he keeps this one on the feet. Absolutely second round here in this amateur welterweight title back.
Chris Radcliffe fighting out of the red corner, the black roughhouse, full reptile shorts. Mikey Tranter, the Wolves MMA man, just nice been deposited one. onto his back. But Chris saying, okay, you, you got yeah. the takedown in the top control first round, I'll, I'll just do it back to you. <laughs> got one butterfly in, does Tranter there. Yeah, he's always looking for the sweeps, as you can see, there he goes, looking to ele elevate his opponent with that single leg, constantly he, busy on the bottom. So busy, moves from hip to hip, doesn't allow his back to be square to the canvas. But it, you know, right at the beginning of the round, and that's a lot of time for Radcliffe to be able to work from top position. It's a lot of time that Tranter has to work the defense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're looking for that sweep again. He's looking to try and step to side, control. Now, maybe just do better to lock himself into that half guard. Yeah, definitely. Chris is doing a really nice job here of controlling, uh, controlling Mikey on the ground. So like you said, Mikey's really busy. But look at that but little, look at that, just a little scramble. Books him off. Yeah, it bucks him off, and now it's Mikey Tranter in. Now they start to throw some heavy shots. Yeah, we've had a bit of fun on the ground. Now let's uh, let's stand up and try it for a little bit. Well, we. You know, they both know they can take each other there now. They both know that they can stand up should that happen. See if that, a oh, nice knee to the body. See if that opens up the hands a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. We know both these guys have got finishing power, as we mentioned. Three wins by knockout. TKO knee for Rackley. Beautiful blast double that, there from that Mikey. knee to the body gave up the blast double. And all three of Mikey Trancer's wins have come by uh, knockout or TKO as well. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, these, these boys do like to finish what they start. <laughs> you see Ratcliffe just trying to improve the position. But Tranter, open half guard. And he's good work from Radcliffe to keep the half for now. Yeah, I thought he just uh, slid his leg through there, Mikey, into the, uh, into the mound. But nice job there from, uh, from Chris Radcliffe to just maintaining that lockdown on the... Uh, on the left leg and now works it back into Manages the full guard. Manages to close up the guard, but good. You notice what Tranter does straight away. Turns his man's head to the cage, takes that position away. You can see Radcliffe trying to get the butterfly onto the hip. Yeah, peeling away that le uh, that right arm, sorry, with his left hand there is Mikey to just pull him and take him perpendicular to the cage. Tranter so heavy and sticky on top though. And another good round. For the Wolves MMA prospect. Yeah, some nice chipping shots there. I mean, Radcliffe straight landing. back up to his feet, lands a knee, and then we throw a little bit. Yeah, a little flurry at the end there as well. Good round, though, from the young Wolves MMA prospect. It's really, te really technical fight again. This is back-to-back -back fights we've seen in these uh, in these title contests. But the level of mixed martial arts on display is just absolutely superb. Both corner teams giving some advice to their protégés. I'm not sure Tranter needs to do anything much different at the moment. Having success on his feet seems to be a little bit stronger in terms of the takedown. Top position, he's been almost immovable. Yeah, when he gets that top position, he's, he's got a really heavy top game. And like a wet blanket on top of uh, on top of Chris Radcliffe. He's a fine example as well of uh, of when he does get taken down. How it's important to be active on your back and constantly look for those sweeps. He's got himself back up from a couple of sticky situations when Chris Radcliffe has taken him down. Yeah, he doesn't accept the bad position, which is phenomenal. Big right hand there. Yeah, a little jab behind it follows up there. Nice work there from uh, Chris Radcliffe going for the uppercut. Just misses, but. I do like that, especially with Mikey shooting for those takedowns. There's the uppercut again. <laughs> Mikey fires back himself. Uh, bit of phone booth boxing. Yeah, this is nice. This is back and forth in the striking exchanges. Tranter just seems a little bit, a little bit lighter on his toes. Yeah, he does like to duck his head though when he throws his strikes. Look, he kind of shells up and exposes the top of his head. That's why uh, we see Chris go to that uppercut a lot more often, and then that front kick up the middle, middle there. Bit of blood on the nose, I think, now of, uh, of Radcliffe as well, and on top of the head. Both land there. 
Yeah, that nose is really busted up now for uh, Chris Radcliffe, who shoots in for the takedown. He's got the hands grasped. That, turns the corner. Beautiful. Just absolutely lovely work from Chris Radcliffe there. It's not the first attempt, it's the second attempt, but. Mikey Trantham does not understand when he needs to keep his back to the mat. It's just phenomenal. Yeah, he's like a jack-in-the-box when, he, uh, <laughs> when, when he gets his back anywhere near the canvas. He just pops straight back up and looks not only looks to get back to his feet, he looks to reverse the position and get, get on top himself. Like you said, really good work there from Chris Radcliffe, chaining those tight downs together. He didn't get the first one. I mean, the hands were grasped, double yep. leg, couldn't oh, do it. Throwing up. Got a potential uh, triangle Got to be careful, though, to give up side control or have Mikey Tranter on his back. Yeah, nice work there, just turning back into him. He yeah. sensed the danger of his back being taken. But now in the smothering uh, half guard. So heavy with that shoulder. And again, he tried to get the knee on the belly, but... Looking at the uh, the Dars here. Oh. That looks tight. Radcliffe rolled the right way. And again, you get the sense that there is absolutely no rush in Mikey Tranter. Oh, did he look to try and pull the guillotine? And yeah, nice job there from Chris Radcliffe. Getting hot and sweaty now. It's going to wow. be tough to lock in those chokes. And you would think that if you were going to put some emphasis on the round, this would be it because bleeding pretty bad now is Chris Radcliffe. Yeah, he's really busted up, hasn't he? Uh, busted up the nose of, uh, of Chris Radcliffe, but he's the man in the dominant position at the moment, landing those little hammer fists and chipping away. A bit more emphasis on that strike as well as he yeah. postures up. But again, Mikey Tranter looking for that sweep. That right leg in between the, uh, the legs of Radcliffe yeah. and elevating. Uses that butterfly. But good round for Radcliffe to end finish on top. Still not sure which way it went though. Uh, Tranter is just all action, all business. <laughs> Tranter's wearing all, almost the vest of uh, yeah. Chris Radcliffe's blood at the moment. We're getting into the business end again. Rounds four and five for the vacant amateur welterweight golden ticket fight promotions title. Mikey Tranter fighting out of the blue corner, representing Wolves MMA, the black shorts. And Chris Radcliffe fighting out of the red corner, the black shorts trimmed with white, rough house. I do like what, uh, what the change that we saw from Chris Radcliffe in that round, especially early on when he was looking for the uppercuts. Yeah. As I mentioned, when Mikey throws his combinations, he does tend to uh, dip his head down a little bit. Doesn't necessarily see where his opponent is, so if he, if he can connect with one of those uppercuts, Chris Radcliffe, that could change the course of the fight a little bit. I'm not, not sure what the uh, what the referee's saying there to Mikey Tranter. Looks like he's giving him well, it's just a, a bit of a, a few words about friend, something. Friendly but words. Yeah, I'm not, not too sure. We haven't really seen too much Oof. cage grabbing or anything like that. But Oh, that yeah, nice left hand shot there. got through. But Tranter just bites down on his gum shield, moves forward and throws that kick to the calf. Oh, the uppercut. Nice Ooh, knee to the body. Got to be careful, careful though. <laughs> Awfully close. I like that from Radcliffe there. Goes to the liver. It circles off nice in the little calf kick. It's a really fun back. Oh, it is fight. absolutely. And the Tranter's not. Tranter's doing well on his feet, but he seems to do that a little bit better when he gets that clinch, that top position. Radcliffe's going to be dangerous while he's still standing. Oh, that head kick, high kick. Got to be careful there throwing that kick without anything to set it up. But Radcliffe did say in an interview before this fight that he thinks he'll come on strongly. He thinks he does start a little bit slowly, and Mikey is the, uh, the quicker of the two starting. But he said he reckons he'll come on strong in the, uh, in the later rounds if he gets that far. And he certainly looks like he's up the tempo a little bit in this fourth round. Certainly put a little more emphasis on those strikes. Got to make sure he's not working behind single shots, though. Yeah, he's got to put them all together. Nice head movement there in the uh, in the pocket there. From Mikey Tranter, yeah, so jab left hook, and then bobs and weaves out the way of the returning fire from Chris Radcliffe. Here's a much better round from Radcliffe, this, though. 
Yeah, he's been aggressive and... God, just got to be careful of those winging shots that are coming from the hip. Seen any signs of fatigue in either of these two no, guys? No, which makes me even sicker than the <laughs> fact that he's 18. Nice little front kick up the middle there from Mikey Tranta. Ooh. Nice headwork movement from Chris Radcliffe and then returns far himself, does a good job of keeping that right hand high for the uh, Tranta left hook. Yeah. Ooh, nice step in knee. A nice uppercut lands stiff there from Radcliffe. But Mikey Tranta just eats uh, it. They are just throwing heavy on their feet. Radcliffe moving forward. Tranter just out of range of those straight. A couple of heavier shots. breaths there from Mikey Tranter, but I'm not surprised if they've both guys seem to really up the tempo in the striking exchanges in this fourth round. And they've worked hard for this 12 minutes without question. Yeah, definitely. Oh! oh close to scalping him there. With 10 seconds to go, they figured, ah, what can I, what have I got to lose? Yeah, and that's opened up a big cut there on the head of Mikey Trant, who looks a bit wobbly there. It looks Blood pouring from yeah. the left-hand side. I think he did catch him with that, that oh, head I kick. I think he did. Three minutes left to separate these two combatants. Chris Radcliffe, the rough house man in the red corner. It's a bloody war, this one is. Oh. I mean, both, both guys wearing the, uh, the crimson mask. Yeah, the cut men here. I'm not sure if it was the... Uh, just look at the replay now. I'm not sure if it was the, the kick just connected slightly or whether it was the one of the follow-up shots, but... Yeah, that was really pouring with blood immediately from the uh, from the left side of the head of Mikey Trant oh, there. And good job from the cut, man. Clear him up. Yeah. Stop that bleeding for a moment. We've got three minutes left to separate them. The Golden Ticket Fight Promotions, amateur welterweight title. Up for grabs. 180 seconds left for one of these two men to grab a hold of that championship and make it theirs. Paul Crossley starts us off, warms the fire, and here we go. Corner here of uh, Marky Tranter imploring him to hold the centre there and not back up against the fence because that's what Chris Radcliffe wants. But oh. nice tie down, but beautiful reaction from Radcliffe. Can he keep it on his feet? He's looking for the uh, for the choke there. Got to be careful of uh, of giving up. The guard there, which he does. Got his back up against the cage, though. This Radcliffe going to have to look to get the, get those hips underneath and get those feet push up. But Mikey Tranter, wise to where they are in the cage. He's using his head there nicely into the, the chin of, uh, of Chris Radcliffe just to help keep on the mat. But lets him get back to his feet there. Yeah, but then <laughs> goes straight in for that single again. And Oh, he loses the position here north, to north south. south. Side control. And great work from <laughs> Tranter to pull him back into the full guard. Got one butterfly. Half guard. Chris Radcliffe certainly kept his promise here of, uh, of getting stronger as the rounds go on. He's looked really good in this fourth and fifth round. Pretty, you know, trying like mad to escape the closed guard. Mikey Tranter just keeps moving with him. Yeah, you'd think in the, in the 14th minute of this fight, after all of the output so far over the course of the four rounds that we've seen, you'd think that Mikey might just kind of lie in this position yeah, and accept it for a little bit, but no. no chance. Constant movement, trying to get to a hip. Again, has to close up the guard this time. But you'd think that Radcliffe really needs to make a make a statement here and he has landed a nice couple of right hands there Just tries to step over oh almost had that arm isolated does have that note just this I mean note. the scrambling from Tranter's absolute whether he's on top on bottom he's going to make his opponent work for anything so Radcliffe now 
chipping away. Side control here. Yeah, he's doing a nice job of controlling for the last minute or so, just landing those Stand chipping shots. But again. Mikey once again trying to scramble oh, out, but gives up the full now. Man. Got to be careful. But again, no Quentin Trant at all. He's fully mounted. He works his way back to that half guard. Yeah, as soon as he got into the full mount there, Radcliffe, Mikey Tranter was oh. up, to up the energy levels a little bit more to get out of that position. But he's still finding himself on his back in the last 10 seconds with Chris Radcliffe. Yeah, throwing shots, those shots. On him. What a fight. Back and forth. And it's going to be, again, a really, really interesting contest for our judges to score. Radcliffe's got his arms aloft. Thinks he's done enough. What a crack and scrap between these two welterweights. Well, wiser heads than ours are going to make this decision. So while we're waiting for our judges' scorecards to be tabulated, I want to give a quick shout out to Corrupt Sheriff, to Elephant Mobile, to Combat Sports Clinic, Nantang. Live MMA went with James Construction Recruitment, Keto Pro, and Sapology. The judges have reached a unanimous decision. To the winner and the new GTFP Welterweight Champion, Mikey Tranta! Thank you. 